Hey, Phil here with VSO Tech, and today I'm super excited to be testing out two shotgun microphones, the Sennheiser ME66 with the K6, and then the Rode NTG3. I'm just going to be cutting back and forth between the audio to really test it out right now. I actually purchased the Rode NTG3 microphone, which is $700 new. I, per I, got, it, uh, I got it for $400 used, so it was a really good deal. The Sennheiser ME66 mic alone is around $200, and then the K6 uh, adapter is around $200, $250. So combined, uh, you can get each microphone for about the same price. So I'm going to be testing out the audio, and then after this, I'm going to be reviewing it myself to see what I thought sounded better. So I'm recording into the Zoom H4n recorder, it's set at 50 recording level for both microphones. So you're hearing the same level audio unedited. I haven't boosted anything in post-production. Right now you are listening to the Rode NTG3 audio. And right now you are listening to the Sennheiser ME66 and K6 audio directly into video editing. I'm about a foot away and it's at the same levels. So which one do I think was better? In the end, I believe the Rode NTG3 sounded a bit better to my ears. And I don't know if it was just because that is my microphone and the Sennheiser is Sam's microphone and it's my baby, but I actually really believe that it sounded better. It sounded more full to me. The Sennheiser picked up a little bit more of the room tone. So I don't know if it's just the pattern of the directionality of the Sennheiser that's not as good as the Rode at blocking out outside noise but for this round i'm going to give it to the rode ntg3 the other thing too that i like about it is that it matches this microphone that i have the heil pr40 that i use to record voiceovers and screencast videos and this has a more full deep tone to it so we have another test though coming up and that's going to be how do these two microphones compete when there's background noise now what we're going to do is I'm going to be testing with Sam and Will talking in the background. They are talking in the background, but because these mics are directional, I want to see how well they, they do with some background noise. If we're out in the field and I'm actually shooting a documentary or an event, it would, it's, I want my shotgun microphone to be directional, recording audio of whoever I'm pointing it at. I'm going to have to give this round to the Rode NTG3 again, and I think it all comes back to that directionality. The Rode NTG3, it's more directional, and so the room tone, the background noises, the background voices that we heard in this test, they don't get picked up as much as with the Sennheiser ME66. We've got one more test for you. Hopefully that was a good comparison to see which sound held up with some background noise. Now I'm going to take a step back and we're going to see how well these two do with me a little bit further away. So now I'm standing about five to six feet away from these two mics. They are still pointing directly at my mouth and uh, we, are, we did boost the levels on the Zoom H4n, so we boosted it up to around 90. Uh, to, and it's both the same for the Sennheiser ME66 and the Rode NTG3. So now you are listening to the Rode NTG3, and now you are listening to the Sennheiser ME66. You can probably hear more of the air conditioning noise, the background room tone, and the cars in the background compared to when I was closer to the microphones. And now you can hear the helicopter. With this test, I'm going to give a slight, a very, very slight edge to the Sennheiser ME66. Honestly, it's a toss up between these two with the distance test. It, they both sound about the same. They're both picking up a lot more of that background noise. Not as good as the first couple of tests, but you might be in a situation like this. But because the Rode NTG3 was better in the first two tests, and that's really the ideal situation where you're closer to the microphone, overall I'm going to vote for the NTG3, and I'm happy with my purchase. That being said, the Sennheiser ME66 is not a bad microphone at all. And at a lower price new than the NTG3, it's a great option for 
new filmmakers or even professional filmmakers who need their first shotgun microphone. One thing I like about the NTG3 is that it just makes our voices sound almost better than they really are. It sounds very full and maybe it's just my preference of having that deep rich fullness but to me I just liked it a little bit better. So I'm very happy with my NTG3. Well, I hope you enjoyed this comparison of the Rode NTG3 and the Sennheiser ME66 K6 module. I will be including links down below in the description if you want to purchase either one of these yourself. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in another video.